Beatrice, I'm curious. What will be my role at the bar? To tell you the truth, I need someone who can do a bit of everything. So you'll be the manager. Don't worry, when I need you to do something, I'll explain it to you. To begin with, I need you to be the bartender. It's pretty simple. You just have to serve the drink that the customer asks for. There is no mystery. Let's assume that the customer wants a whiskey. You just need to read the drinks label to find which one is a whiskey and serve it. Got it. Just out of curiosity, why don't you do these tasks yourself if they are that simple to do? I'm a pretty busy woman. I often have to do other things, like having to go out to talk to someone important or solve problems with a supplier, so I don't have time to solve simpler tasks. That's why I need someone to be the manager and to do these tasks for me, you know? It makes sense. What about Luna? What's her role at the bar? I am currently working as a waitress, but my role is not limited to that. If Beatrice wants me to, I do other tasks as needed. Each of you is responsible for tasks assigned to you. Don't get me wrong. If the need arises, you'll have to adapt to other responsibilities. The important thing is to serve our customers in the best way possible. At my bar, the customers are always right and always come first. Hmm, I understand. Besides waitressing, Beatrice said that I'll be in charge of teaching you a few things. So if you have any questions, try asking me first. I can teach you a thing or two. Sure. That's it. If you have more questions, just ask me later. I need to concentrate on the road. The street is pretty crowded. Let me focus on driving. No problem. So that's how you ended up in that bar? Yeah, my landlady asked Beatrice if I could work for her. Hmm, I see. And what happened when you arrived at the bar? Well, I'll tell you. Have we arrived? Yeah, it's here. Master bar, hmm. <laughs> it sounds like a pun. Hmm, so you get the joke. Did you like the name? Sounds creative. Maybe a funny name will catch the attention of customers. Possibly. Changing the subject, the bar looks pretty big. I thought it would be a modest bar. You'll be even more surprised when you see what it looks like inside. Shh, Luna, don't spoil the surprise. Sorry. You can get out of the car. I want you to go in first. Okay. Whoa! This bar is awesome! I really didn't expect this. You decorated it all with this bluish theme. It's really dope. It got a Vegas-style vibe. And you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? No doubt. Well, I said you would like it. It's a good thing you liked it. This will be your workplace. Sure. Now that you've seen it, let me show you around. At the left of the bar is the biggest lounge area. It consists of three seating areas with space for several people. It also has a table to have a place to put their drinks. It's the place where most customers are when the bar is crowded. There must be room for more than 20 people there. Calm down, that's not all. To the right of the bar is the smallest lounge area. It has two seating areas with space for several customers with a table to place their drinks. This is kind of an extension of the previous area. Wow, even with two seats, it makes the previous area even bigger. There's a lot of space, right? Over there are where the slot machines are. No Vegas-style bar would be complete without slot machines. These machines are designed so that the player loses almost every time. There is a remote chance that the player will win, so they'll get hooked and keep playing. They are specifically designed for customers. However, you are not prohibited from playing, so if you want to lose some bucks, feel free to use them. Wait, you just want me to lose money? It's up to you whether you play or not. In the middle of the bar is the central bench. It has stools all around it. When the other areas are full, or customers just want to have a quick drink, they often choose to sit here. So there are even more seats? You haven't seen it all yet. Hmm, I've got a question. What's the matter? Why is there an entrance at the end of this bench? Oh that? It's just a depot. Sometimes when we run out of space, I store liquor there. Got it. That's the bar. This is where you'll work at first. Wow, there are all kinds of drinks there. Yeah, you're right. You'll find gin, vodka, whiskey, wine, and lager beer there. If the customer orders a drink that isn't there, you can always go to my suite and see if you can find the drink there. I keep some special drinks in my fridge. Wait, your suite? Where is it? Don't worry, I'll show you soon. Okay. Remember to always pay attention to the customer's request. If you give him the wrong drink, it can frustrate him. Roger that. Back to matter at hand, the bar is the only area that has a mirror. This mirror allows the bartender to see the entire bar, even when his back is turned. 
This allows you to keep an eye out in case some does something stupid like stealing or starting a fight. If that should happen, you can take action or let me know so we can solve the issue. This type of situation is a little tricky to deal with. You'll have to decide at the time what's the best action to take. I won't have any problems with that, right? Relax, you will know how to act correctly if that happens. Hope so. Finally, here are some more stools that customers can choose to sit on. I promise these are the last ones. Phew! Customers who sit here often like to chat with the bartender, so be courteous. All right. Hey, look there. Seems like someone forgot a full white wine glass on the counter. And there's also a glass of gin. Must have been the last customer from yesterday. It was late, so we forgot to clean it up. Here's an extra task for you. No problem. I'll clean it up later. Last but not least, we have the doors. The left door is the toilet, and the one on the right is the elevator hallway. Hang on, is there only one toilet? Yeah, this is a predominantly male bar, so there is no need to have two toilets. Of course, women are welcome to come to the bar. In that case, they can use the same toilet. It's a unisex toilet, after all. What about the girls who work here, like Luna? They use the bathrooms in their own rooms. So there's nothing to worry about. Their own rooms? Yeah, we have our own rooms here. Ever wondered what the elevator is for? It's true, I haven't thought about it yet, but now that you said it... Well, he won't understand. It'll be better to show him than just talk about it. You and Luna, come with me. Here is very different from the bar. Seems like a whole other place. You haven't seen anything yet. The elevator has arrived. Let's go inside. A hotel? I don't understand anything anymore. Are you rich? Let's say I had some money saved and the opportunity to buy a hotel came up, so I ended up buying it. Do you understand now why we said that everyone has their own room? You'll have your own room too. Really? Nice. You must be thinking it's weird that up here is so different from the bar. The bar was once the hotel lobby, but I revamped and decorated it so that it became the bar you saw there. The bar is the first contact between the customer and my establishment. I decided that I should make it as attractive as possible. That way, the customers would want to stay. The bar is the room most customers frequent. Now you know how important it was to make it more inviting. Hmm, makes sense. As impressed as you are to have seen this floor, this is not the only one that has rooms. This is just the second floor. The first floor is the photo studio. The third floor is another hallway full of rooms like this, but it's still under construction. We don't have access to it yet. You'll be able to visit the photo studio soon. So is this place even bigger? Yeah, don't worry. You'll be able to explore every detail of this place soon. All right. Well, since we're here, let me show you the rooms on this floor. Sure. This room is empty, so I keep it locked for now. This is Veronica's room. Veronica? Who is she? It's another girl who works here, just like Luna. You'll meet her in a moment. This is Luna's room. If you need to talk to her, you'll probably find her here. Really? Is this Luna's room? I'm curious to see what it's like inside. You can, but be respectful. Don't go in unannounced. Fine. That can wait. Now it's time to show you the rest of the rooms. This is Sakura's room. I know, you don't know her either, but she's my maid. Hmm, so you have a maid. I expected that, given the size of this place. She is responsible for keeping all the rooms tidy. When necessary, she'll help keep the bar clean. So if you need any help with cleaning, you can talk to her. Roger. This is your room. My room? How can I already have a room? I just got here. I already intended to get a manager, so I already reserved a room for him. You becoming the manager was a coincidence. Got it. So that's why you were so receptive when Priscilla asked you to get me a job here. Exactly. I was already in need of someone, so I decided to give you a chance. Hmm, I see. Thank you. Can I see my room now? Calm down. I still need to show you other things. You'll see your room later. No problem. This is my room and also the administration office. Since I own the establishment, everyone has carte blanche to come in and talk to me about any problems that may arise. Of course, there are exceptions like when I'm asleep. When I am, I'll lock the door. Apart from that, you can come talk to me. So if you need to let me know about anything related to this place, come to my room and let me know. Okay. 
there's still more to show you, so come with me. This is the last one. Oh, so you're here. Hi, Beatrice. Hi, Luna. Hello. What's up? I don't know him yet. Who is he? He's my friend's tenant. I just hired him. He's the new manager of this place. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. She's Veronica, our newest member. She was hired yesterday. She's also our youngest, being only 19 years old. I just turned 19 recently. I had a birthday last week. She really looks pretty young. Hey, you're only 23. Are you thinking you're the geezer? I know I'm young too. I'm just being kind. She's still in training, so I'm just assigning her pretty basic tasks for now. Training her will also be part of your roles. But don't worry, you'll be properly instructed to teach her what she should do at the right time. Right. By the way, I just completed the task you asked me to do. I've packed all the drinks you bought in the fridge. I thought it wouldn't fit, but I managed to arrange it in a way that it fit everything. Well done. So let's take a look at the fridge. This is the fridge I told you about. It's a little old, but I found it here when I bought this place. It was still working, so I decided to bring it up to my suite to store some drinks. I keep the most expensive drinks in this fridge. I don't have to worry about someone stealing them. Isn't it because you like to drink? Shh, don't spread my secrets. As Luna said, not all the drinks in the fridge are expensive. I keep them there because I like to drink them. You can even find some cola cola in the fridge. If someone orders a drink that isn't at the bar, come to the fridge. You can probably find it here. The fridge is quite big and full of drinks, so check it out carefully. Some specific drinks, like whiskey, are best served in the appropriate glass. So make sure you do. You may leave a bad impression as a bartender if you serve their drink in the wrong glass. They'll think you don't know how to be a good bartender. That doesn't make much sense to me. Isn't the drink itself that matters? I think so too, but some customers are quite demanding. So it's better to serve them in the right glass. It's not a hard task. I understand. True. Thank God I don't have to work at the bar. You're lucky. Beatrice, am I free to go? I've already shown you everything I have to, I guess. Sure. Thanks for the good work. No problem. I'll be in my room. If you need anything, just call me. All right. Bye, Luna. See ya. I'm going to my room too, Beatrice. Okay, go get dressed to help out later at the ball. That's exactly what I intended to do. See you later. Bye, Luna. See you soon, Luna. Let's close the fridge. After all, I don't own stock in the electric company. Beatrice, I just tidied up your room. I also wanted to let you know that I've organized your glasses as you requested. Well done, Sakura. I noticed that when I was showing them to him. Thank you so much for all your work. You're welcome. Oh, so she's the Sakura that you've told me before? Yeah, she's the maid that I've told you about. Well then, let me introduce myself properly. Hello. I'm glad to meet you. It's my pleasure. He's our new manager. So if he needs a hand, help him, okay? Sure. Now that I've finished my work here, can I go, Beatrice? Of course, you're free to go. I'll be in my room. If you need anything, just call me. Excuse me. Hey, you, come here. Now that I've introduced you to the girls, let's get down to business. I ordered a sign at the shop to be placed at the bar entrance door. The shop girl gave me a time frame of two days for the sign to be done. She said I could go pick it up now. Go to the shop and get it for me. I have a few things to deal with, so can you do me this favor? Of course. It hasn't been paid for yet, so take this $500 and pay for it. Okay. Come see me after you pick up the sign. 